I want to see if I can get her in that position when she finishes. So we're going to go back to walkthroughs. Connor, you can stay standing back there. Give me some walkthroughs. So if I'm in a, in a troubleshooting mindset right now, as she's going through walkthroughs, nice and smooth, go ahead. Okay, now all of a sudden I see her start to fall back. Okay, so in my mind right now, she's not really finishing her pitches. So if I think about how the ball starts to leak a little bit or not have as much strength through the pitch, she's not throwing through her catcher, I want you to finish your pitch. Get outside, get out front, finish through your pitch. Very good, now I can see that transfer from the shoulders on top of the foot, okay? Again. And that becomes a key because we work together on understanding where my shoulders need to be and how I need to finish. And the more time we get to spend together as a rookie pitcher and a pitching coach, I've got to have good verbiage to make sure she feels that. I fall back a little bit there? Yeah. yeah okay. I can't pitch out there. She has to pitch. She has to compete. She has to feel comfortable making adjustments. Okay, and then she was able, so that little bit of falling back versus staying on top is helping her dive the ball down. Okay, again. Very good, very nice, okay. So you're gonna see that right there. So that, that's troubleshooting right away. And the minute she does it, when we start to get really good, I should hear Kat right away say, oh, I didn't finish my pitch. And if I'm starting to hear her say the same verbiage and she's starting to feel the same things, now I know that my pitcher's troubleshooting and she's able to make the adjustments. When she gets in a ball game, she just misses on that drop ball, she's gonna shake, she's gonna throw it again because she knows how to make that adjustment. Now she's gonna be a lot more successful and a lot more confident because she knows what she needs to do. The other part of troubleshooting is when we start to anchor. And a lot of times when we get our back foot stuck as we start to work walkthroughs, we're gonna to start to see the ball go to the right or the left. Okay, why am I getting stuck? Why can't I hit my spot? Why can't I stay through the ball? Well, we need to get your foot underneath you, okay? So if she anchored a little bit, which Kat knows about this because we've talked about this for a while. So go ahead and go through one where you kind of stick on your backside a little bit. Okay. We're throwing, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Always make sure your catcher is paying attention. Yeah. Good. Okay. We can stop one. Go ahead and stop one where you're stuck back. Okay. Just go through, don't throw it. Yeah. Just stop. Yeah. Okay, good. So I can see you're stuck back right now. Okay. Let's do it again. Now stop where you finish. No throwing. Okay. Good. Okay. So get a feel for it. We're going to throw now. Um, nope, go ahead and go all the way through. Very good, good. So again, Kat needs to get the feel for it. I can talk her through it, but the minute as these young pitchers start to make the adjustments, start to talk to you and you start to hear the same keywords you're saying, now you know they have something to go to and it's in their tools.